So here we are uh, down at the table, and uh, the first game I guess we could talk about is Rebuilding Seattle by WizKids. I don't know enough about this game. Uh, I did pick it up because everybody seems to love it. And it's all about 1899, and uh, Seattle burned down, and we rebuild Seattle. Uh, normally, I don't just buy a game um, just out of the blue like this. Generally, I research it, but I did watch Rado play through it and a couple other playthroughs, and everybody seemed to really, really love it. I do like WizKids. Generally, good quality games. Pretty hefty in this tiny little box. Uh, so this is rebuilding Seattle, and that's one of the first games that came in a little while ago and I've been sort of sitting on it is an economic city management game by Quinn Brander reconstruct the Emerald City after the great fire of 1889 and actually we are going to Seattle uh, in the fall actually we are taking a uh, NCL cruise uh, up from Seattle up the coast uh, to the Alaska shorelines and then we're coming back it's only a seven day cruise last year we did a Three years ago, or 2018, I guess that may be longer, we did that and we went to Japan, which was a really great uh, cruise. As we kind of unpack what's going on here, um, we'll, we'll start here. Castlescape. There we are. This one is where you build a castle. Uh, Joss Horsley and the art by Tracy Van Wagener, and it's from B Pretoria Games. And basically, I think they're already talking about a... Uh, expansion for it and there's plenty of it and basically you, you you're going to build castles and take towers and build inside and you're going to score i did a little bit on it i think i played it on um tabletopia or tts and i really enjoyed it so this was a kickstarter and we have some sleeves that go with it right here not that i needed sleeves because i have tons of sleeves here in the house and it's a growing collection Oh, let's see what else we got here. Under that, we have Earth. This game appealed to me because of the evolutionary, ecological, can you grow your own planet type of feeling. I'm trying to add some of those types of games into the collection. So this is one of the reasons why I did that is, is, is Earth, where you play, it's a four by four grid and you try to grow your planet. Again, I'm not clear on the rules. And here's some goodies that came in with it. So, uh, it looks like a really pretty game, though. Um, here, I just bought this. My wife likes Carcassonne. And I don't know if you can see it really well, but these are triangles. Put them in the bag and pick them out. And then you'll be able to further maybe add bits and pieces that you can't normally add to a castle. So, kind of an interesting mechanic. And I'm, I'm looking forward to giving these a try in our Carcassonne set. Now here, my wife and I just played this the other day. I did opening and I have an unboxing for it, but Mantis Falls. Imagine that this is the 1940s and you're Mantis Falls and you're a witness to something you shouldn't have seen. The hit's out on you, or is it? You have to get out of town and you got to get out of town fast. But you have a protagonist, or do you? Somebody else is also either trying to kill you or trying to get out of town too. You don't know. So you try to get out together or do you try to just survive and kill off the other guy? Or are you the assassin trying to kill the witness? Don't know. My wife and I played it and we both died. It's not as easy as you think it is because you don't know who, what the other person was. And then, my, and then my wife who likes to take that still killed me. Of course, if you're playing in the co-op mode and you're both witnesses and trying to survive, better to help than to kill the other guy. And I knew she was a witness. Um, as we, what do we got here? Oh my gosh, there's a ton of stuff here for this game. There we are, tiny epic Vikings and an assortment of all types of of expansions. Actually, this is a second copy. We'll just put that down here. And then there's the expansions. We have the Ragnarok. Oh, two Ragnaroks. Okay, so I have two complete copies. Well, huh, how about that? Okay, well, one's going to the store. I'm going to sell it or I'm going to keep it. Maybe I'll bring it on vacation. We're going on vacation, need a small box game. So maybe I'll look at that very, very quickly. But anyway, um, 
that is a, a, one of the games that I might take with me. What does it say about that? I, I mean, I don't know 100%. And it says... Lead a clan of Vikings over three years, hoping to claim the icy lands as your own. Play Viking cards that represent your clan leaders, choosing the best builders, harvesters, and explorers and warriors. Raid and conquer the islands with settlers, bo build boats, and temples to gain influence in battle with a favor for gods. Ooh, very exciting. And it is for... Uh, I don't know what it's for. Well... We got the mat size. I got a few of those. But anyway, we'll take a look at that a little closer, maybe in a bit. Okay, Max, this is big. Very, very big. Mm. Doesn't even fit under the light, so we're going to probably move it. And you can see it shines everywhere uh, because of the... Uh... So you can see my microphone up there. And you can see it's blocking the other cam a little bit too. There it is, Nexus, an arena combat system. Now, normally, I don't buy these types. 24 pre-painted miniatures, and it's a magnetic board frame, and that 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 in itself seemed to be kind of a, an interesting attraction for me. So I'm looking forward to sort of learning this game and maybe playing it. Maybe I'm going to bring it along next week. We have our Tarmacon next week, and there's Nexus. There we are. Uh, Tarmacon next week. And it's it's a it's a two day event uh, from twelve to five at the Center Square Mall, and we'll have an opportunity to play games. I think the Beybladers will be there. Certainly, there'll be Magic, Pokemon, probably some Smash Brothers, and and things like that. So, hopefully, you'll, if you're in Yellowknife, well, I'm just sorry. If you're in Yellowknife, you'll join us and and come play with us. Okay, here we go. Let's. Um, see what we can do here. This one I found at Panettaway Games, which is one of my favorite stores in Edmonton. We'll just put the expansions here. And this is... No, we're not. Sorry. That's... I don't even know where that is. Oh, it's down there somewhere. The City of the Great Machine. So you have a steampunkish game where you are playing against the Great Machine who wants to run its city one way, and you... Want to run it a different way. You've got appreciative of what the great machine does for you. And you want to work against it. And it's a uh, game by German Tichomirov. Tichomirov. Sorry, uh, German. I'm sorry with that. And it just looked intriguing. And it comes with some miniatures. And, of course, an expansion, Escalation. So that's cool. And I'm going to run out of things to place to ah, put things. Here we are. We're going to put them over here. Uh, next up, maybe because it's a little smaller, is our solar spear. Dun, 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 dun. There we are. This is a one to four player game. You're going to go out in the galaxy and four exit. Uh, 12 and up, uh, 160 to 20, 120 minutes, one to four players from Drodna Games. Uh, we have an expansion for it. I backed it on Kickstarter. We got some cool stuff with it, some puzzle pieces. I'm not quite sure how that does. Maybe the board can be made up in a different way. Um, what else is coming in? Um, Jagged Alliance. Now, I'm not going to open it up. We've, I've done an unboxing for it. I bought it used. It is organized at the moment. I do want to go through it and play it. So this is another big one for me. Um, Underground Games has been fantastic. Uh, Castle Von Logan is sitting down on the floor. I also did an unboxing. I'm not going to bring it up. Uh, it's a time-traveling type campaign-style game. This, Jan, the, uh, one of the designers, is absolutely amazing. I love talking to him. He's over in Germany. Talk via the Facebook. It's very responsive. Uh, I was very lucky to get this because there's no copies anywhere, basically, Jagged Alliance. And very lucky to get my backed game from uh, Underground Games directly uh, because Funnigan was uh, screwing the Canadians and there were five games that they did not ship and that was one of mine. Jan, out of his own money, shipped the game from Germany to me and it came in a very timely fashion. I was very happy to see it. It was one of the, it's a narrative games and there's a couple of games that were based on this system. Agemonia, which is coming out and Cercata, that's coming up, these card-driven 
narrative games where you explore, read a card, do some stuff, and explore some more. Lots of fun. This kind of works almost the same, but not quite. They got some weird card sizes in Castle Van Logan. I have not been able to find the 90 by, I think it's 125, which is really weird. So it's, it's a hard size to find. And here's the last one that I picked up. I also picked up Hero's Path from Pay Metaway Games. That's the one I was going to show you uh, from 2017. Uh, he just happened to have a copy. I don't know where he got the copy from. Probably just shipped. It was a Kickstarter. Um, got all the components for it. It's very rune-bound-ish. The dragon's going to wake up and you're going to get stronger and then kill the dragons. Lots of cards, lots of equipment. Very room bound um, sounding. So I would say more like the second edition than probably the third edition because of the pogs. Yeah, and if I sound like I'm not happy about pogs, I am not. And lastly, we're going to look at Magnaroma. This is something, uh, there we are, I'm going to just move it over a little bit, that I saw Alex play with his wife on uh, his show on Board Game Co. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Liked the idea of it. And I, I bought it, so it's not something that I would backed. Uh, I did look at backing it, but I did not back it, unfortunately. But I was lucky enough to get a, um, a deluxe copy along with the expansion, so I'm pretty happy uh, otherwise. Now there are some other stuff that has come in that's out in the other room, and I'm not going to go outside and run it back, because I think this is more than enough for one game. Um, I think we're going to try to get through something small, because I want to be able to go on my cruise. So it looks like I might just do Tiny Epic Vikings. Because it might be something I can bring easy enough to the table. Uh, though uh, Castle Von Logan, which has had an unboxing, which isn't published yet. Jagged Alliance had an unboxing, which hasn't been published yet. I wanted to show you the organization. It's a quick play. I wish I could take it with me, but the box is too big. But these are just some of the things that have come in. I don't know if you're going to find this useful. I hope you do. Just to sort of see what goes into my collection and the types of games I've got. You can see it's a very, very eclectic. Um, I really enjoy a wide variety of games. Some are heavier than the others. Now, normally I don't buy heavy games. But occasionally, like this Great Machine, which I think is a little heavier style, um, makes it way in because it just, the theme intrigued me. That sort of people against the Great Machine, how dystopian. Metro, uh, Metropolis, even. So think back to Metropolis and, and the people fighting against the machines and, 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 and the government. So if you find this useful, please subscribe. Make yourself at home here at my channel. Uh, make some comments down below, certainly. I would love to hear from you whether you like this kind of content or not. Um, but just to show you what I'm thinking. Anyway, I've got some things I want to do. It's a Diablo 4 beta weekend, and I've been going crazy playing Diablo 4. Having a lot of fun with it. I don't think it's the best one, and I don't even know if it overshadows D3. Uh, I think it's got to have some more development. i got to see what the future is. As you know, Diablo 3 didn't start with a bang, and I don't think Diablo 4 is going to start with a bang. Though they had a not a good start on the 4th. Uh, on the 17th when they went into the beta with log cues and all kinds of stuff. But it seems to have settled down. Uh, I, I did get to try the Sorceress, and so far she seems to be overpowered a lot, and I was able to breeze through the uh, opening chapter because that's as far as you can go, and right now I'm taking the Rogue through it. Not quite as powerful, and I don't know how the Barbarian is going to uh, hold up. Don't know uh, if I'm going to make... The entire night because uh, it, it closes tonight. I'm hoping they extend it for a day because of Friday, but I don't think they will. It's Blizzard. They don't care. But who knows? They might see this and care. Um, the next weekend, they're having another open beta, uh, and it's going to introduce the Druid and the Necromancer, and that's the one I'm interested in because generally I play the Necromancer. Missing is the Paladin. I would love to see the Paladin. They had some great powers, but we're not going to see the Paladin this time around. So, that's a little bit of what's going on. Hit the swirly subscribe on the way out, and I will see you on the next time. My name is Harry.